The NHL is coming to SLC. Professional hockey can now call Salt Lake City home, with the NHL approving the sale today of the Arizona Coyotes to jazz owner Ryan Smith. We have team coverage for you tonight. Shara Park tracking the latest information for us about the purchase of a new franchise. Lindsay Ertz gathering reaction from fans. Sam Farnsworth speaking with players. But first, let's set the scene with my co-anchor tonight, Ashley Moser. Ashley, the excitement really beginning to build now for this. Daniel, no doubt there is a buzz downtown here at the Delta Center. Let's just take a look really quick. In the last couple of minutes, uh, this team has been finishing up the decal for the NHL, the logo there officially on the Delta Center. Uh, an exciting time as this announcement coming down just a couple of hours ago. Exciting for fans and for future fans. Uh, there's actually something that I want you guys to look at. The marquee has changed. You know how this changes with different artists coming to town, games being played. It now reads NHL in Utah, and it gives you a website where you can get tickets and tickets. That's something else we want to uh, mention. Right now, Ryan Smith, the team owner, saying on social media, there have been 6,000 deposits so far. So there is interest. We know that. A lot of people try to get those tickets. Again, fall is when we're going to see these games to start being played. If you're interested in that, we actually have a link on our website, ksltv.com. More information there. I was kind of browsing the site. You can put how many tickets you're interested in, putting a $100 deposit down per seat. Uh, but we continue our team coverage right now with Shara Park. And Shara, you've been watching this closely all day. A big, big announcement. A lot of questions still up in the air. But what was finalized today? Yeah, a lot of questions, but I think we're getting some of those here today, and we'll get more of those tomorrow as well with a press conference from uh, from the the team. Now, with this deal, with the Coyote franchise, it goes inactive in Arizona, and Utah begins a new era of professional hockey. Now, a lot of money was spent on this deal, about $1.2 billion, but now that the NHL Board of Governors has unanimously approved it, owners Ryan and Ashley Smith and the Smith Entertainment Group will move the full assets of the fight the Coyote franchise to Utah over the next few weeks and months. That means the full roster, draft picks, and its hockey operations department. Take a look at the video the NHL shared just moments after this became official. The NHL is thrilled to be coming to Utah. I think this crowd is ready for hockey. The NHL is here. Let's go, Utah. Well, reaction pouring in on social media to this this deal. Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall tweeting, I can't wait for the future of our downtown and the first NHL game in Salt Lake City. This is the next step towards reinvigorating our downtown and cementing our city as the heart and hub of sports, culture, and entertainment in Utah and the Intermountain West. And our governor, Spencer Cox, tweeting a simple statement to that NHL video, simply saying, let's do this. Now, Smith told the NHL the team will play here at the Delta center. He's in the process of designing something that will host both the Utah Jazz and this new NHL team. Uh, he says that he will not rush into a new team name, logo, or colors, but as you can imagine, everyone right now has an opinion on this. Ashley, we've seen the, the Utah Outlaws, the Utah Yeti being pushed. I personally like the Utah Black Bears, but I, I also want to go on a, on a limb here and say, why not the Utah Gila Monsters, right? Maybe, maybe not, that but a lot works. of people have opinions. Imagine we'll that. send it over to you. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of ideas floating know. around there on social media. Hey, we'll, we'll make some t-shirts. Yeah. We'll see what sticks. <laughs> sure, thank you. Um, again, yep. a lot of fans excited about this. We've had rumors for the last couple of weeks now. A new specialist, Lindsay Ayers, has been talking to fans about this big announcement. All right, Lindsay, what are you hearing from people here in Utah? Yeah, Ashley. Well, I'm not sure Utah Black Bears is a name I'm on board with, but I'll let Shara have her thing. Now, listen, fans here just excited. There is a buzz about this today. I spoke with a, a local shop owner, a hockey shop owner, uh, who used five varies to describe how very excited he is for this team to come. And he says it just illustrates how the hockey culture here is ready for this team. Well, we'll see how they Everybody's very, 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 very excited. Sparks are flying in Utah, and not just from the skates being sharpened at the Cottonwood Hockey Shop in Cottonwood Heights. 
People are asking me, how do we get season tickets? You know, it, they're just, everybody's very, very, very thrilled to have this coming. Owner Alan Greensburg says for him, there's no downside to a new NHL team coming to Utah. A lot more opportunities for growth in youth hockey. Um, it means business-wise for me, obviously some growth there. Um, and it also means growth that our city is growing. Both he and his customers, like Robbie Heath, celebrating the news today that the Smith Entertainment Group has purchased the Arizona Coyotes, who will play in Salt Lake starting next season. Just ready for, ready for October. Heath believes Utahns will coalesce around the yet-to-be-named team, because up until now, there's only been Utah-adjacent NHL teams to root for. Got the Avalanche, you've got Vegas now, you've got the Coyotes all kind of equidistant around, surrounding Utah. So there's definitely a hockey presence. There's Plus, he says, many hockey fans and players in Utah are transplants, bringing with them their team's allegiances. The live sport is like nothing else, and I'm so glad that the people of Utah will be able to experience it. Still love my Flyers. I'll be at the Flyers games. Okay. Um, and, and I'm sure I'll be uh, Utah, whatever they're going to be called, um, fan also. And while the two say they understand, there are still questions around raising Salt Lake's sales tax to help owner Ryan Smith construct a place for the team to play. They say it's worth it. It's a billionaire's team, but it's also Salt Lake and Utah's team. It's our team. It is our team, and we're excited for this team to come. Obviously, we know there are still some important questions, especially with the construction of this uh, dual sport arena, the Delta Center behind me. We will continue to ask those questions, but for now, a really exciting day. Reporting live in Salt Lake City for KSL 5 News, I'm Lindsay Ertz. Ashley, back to you. All right, Lindsay, thank you. It is doable. You know, we have events like Disney on Ice where they turn uh, the court into an ice rink. So we know it can happen. But again, the logistics, everything, still a lot of questions here with today's announcement. But again, we want to know about the players. Who are we welcoming to the state? And for that, we go to new specialist Sam Farnsworth in Arizona tonight. All right, Sam, you've talked to a bunch of players. We understand this is a younger team and we're not too far from Arizona. So, yes, it is a move but not a big, big move, right? Yeah, it's not a huge move for these guys, and it's an exciting time for them and for the fans to get this youthful bunch of players. You know, as the NHL Board of Governors did approve that sale of the Arizona Coyotes to Ashley and Ryan Smith this afternoon, with that, they also approved the transfer of the entire roster and set of draft picks to Ashley and Ryan Smith for them to start their own hockey franchise in Utah. So if you've seen the Coyotes play a game this season at all, then you've seen those players that will be on the ice this fall for this Utah hockey team. And in the midst of this, it's certainly been a tough time for Arizona fans and the Coyotes organization. There's still a certain level of excitement surrounding this move, though, especially from the players. These players... They'll get to play in an arena with three times the amount of fans than what they've been used to. They'll get to play for an owner that's eager to invest in the team. And in spite of what the Coyotes fans were chanting last night about Salt Lake City, these players told us that they actually really like Utah. They want to do something big there, and, and there's, there's a plan already set up, and, and the people there are excited. So We're all excited to go. I mean... I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I really like Salt Lake City. We stop every year on the on the drive in, and I had an Airbnb booked, uh, Airbnb booked in Sundance for for the drive home. So, I'm excited for Salt Lake City. Uh, I will miss Arizona, but if you're gonna move, it's a it's a good place to go. Yeah, I'm a little biased, but I would say so as well. It is a good place to go. Now, who are these players, and why should we be excited about the future of this franchise? I'll have that coming up a little bit later on in sports, Ashley. All right, Sam, looking forward to that. We're excited to get to know them and welcome them to the Beehive State. We're excited for the future generation of hockey players. You know, we have a team here, but this is the first NHL team, so a big deal. And just a reminder here, we learned about this a couple of hours ago, and we alerted those who have the KSL Plus app. We told you right uh, right then and there when we learned about this. It was 1.57 this afternoon to your mobile app. You got that alert. So if you don't have that app, it is free to download KSL Plus. Go right there, and you can get any updates uh, as we get them. Again, we're going to hear from the team owner, Ryan Smith, tomorrow. So you'll want to have that app to get the latest information. All right, Daniel, we'll send it back to you in studio. All right, Ashley, an exciting day today. Thank you so much for that.